Hi everyone, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. Lyric slides are the most basic part of ProPresenter. In this video, let's take a look at setting up song slides with text imported from the internet. Then we will have the knowledge to quickly import the song text as slides into ProPresenter. So I'm here in my web browser and I went ahead and I searched a song by adding the name of the author and the song title with the word lyrics on the end of it. And now I can see the lyrics here on Google. I try not to use these because I find that sometimes I have issues when with formatting and stuff when I use the lyrics from Google. I like to scroll down and use websites like genius.com or azlyrics.com. So we'll just click on this. And when the page loads, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy, highlight all these and then command C on my Mac or you can just go ahead and right click and hit copy. Now we can see that these paragraphs are separated in four lines, four lines, five lines, that's six lines. Nope, that's five lines. So four, 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 five. So these are all separated in a paragraph. So now let's go over to ProPresenter. Now in the top of ProPresenter, I'm gonna hit File, Import, Import Text from Clipboard. Now it's gonna bring up this import window and in the top, we've got a couple of options. The slides delimited by line break or paragraph break. So with a paragraph break, it's gonna split each slide into the four, four, and five that we saw, or with line break, we can specify the amount of line breaks. So we can do two. So for example, it's gonna bring them all in two lines per slide. That's what I wanna do here. But you could do two or three or four if you're using full screen slides. So the next thing is size of the presentation, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, assign that to the size that uh, the main output is set to. And themes are the next bit. If you uh, don't know much about themes, then I recommend checking out my video all about themes because they're absolutely incredible. So there's a lot of pre-built themes that we can give our slides uh, a pre-built look, or we can use a custom one that we have pre-built ourselves. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and select this, uh, this standard lower third theme. And the next thing is uh, select what library you're going into. I also did a video talking about the basic uh, interface of ProPresenter 7, so if you haven't checked that one out, go see that one and you can uh, learn more about the library and the playlist and where those uh, fit into all of this. So I'm just gonna click on those and you can click import, but I'm gonna hit edit. Now, when I click edit, it's gonna bring up a new window and that new window is going to show me exactly what's gonna be happening on each slide. So. I like this window because you can, uh, oh, we can make it bigger, that's pretty neat. Uh, in the top, we can change the title because that's like the thing that always drives me nuts when you import a new song into ProPresenter. The title is always wrong. It's always default the first lyrics in the song. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that in. You can actually uh, make that, change that and add the artist, uh, author, specific author, publisher, CCLI information, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and again, I can adjust the theme here and I can tell it to display this copyright content. And now on the bottom, I can go through the reflow editor and I can adjust anything that I would like to adjust. You know, if there's just too much text on a slide or if the uh, if I wanna add this one to another one, for example, I can do that, but it all looks good. Um, this one down, where was it? Um, bring that breakthrough miracle power. I'm just gonna add that to a, uh, make it two lines. Cool. Well, that all looks really good. Uh, Let it rain down can be on one slide, I guess. It's, uh, you can see right there, it's, uh, it took away the second box. So that's perfect. And now we can just go ahead and import. That is literally all it takes to set up slides in Pro 7. Themes make setting up slides so easy. If you have any questions about themes, how to use them, how to create them, check out the video I did on themes. Okay, let's take a look at my pro tips for setting up lyric slides in ProPresenter. So the first thing we wanna look at is font choice. When setting up lyric slides, you need to pick a font that is easy to read. A font like this might look cool, but readability is super important when displaying song lyrics. This font, however, is a much better choice. If you want a great font for ProPresenter slides, check out the churchmotiongraphics.com CMG Sans font. They created this font specifically for churches and it's completely free. Also, if you're interested in a subscription to access the thousands of incredible motion graphics, editable sermon slide templates, lower thirds, or anything else on their site, check them out through the link in the video description. The second thing I have is formatting. When lyrics are being placed over live video streams, you should do no more than two lines of text per screen. If you're doing 
uh, a full screen lyrics, then you can do four lines of text, but you shouldn't do any more than that. Here we've got a live video feed with two lines of text as a lower third, and this is just enough text for the screen. But if I do four lines of text on this same video feed, you can tell it's way too much text. Now, like I said, on a full screen of text, you can definitely do four lines. Doing more than the four lines of text might seem convenient, especially with hymns, where you can put an entire verse or chorus on a single slide. This might be done because it makes it easier on the slides operator, but this is very overwhelming to an audience. And to me, it screams, we do what is easy, not what is best. Number three is backgrounds. Choosing a background is just as important as a font. Churchmotiongraphics.com has loads of amazing motion backgrounds, but if you're not ready for their subscription plan, you can download their still images for free from their site. I've got a couple of examples here of good and bad backgrounds. So this one, for example, I would consider too busy because of the speed of the background image. I happen to know that this is a slower song and this background would be way too fast for it. Now this next one on the other hand, there would be even no question about why this one's too busy because you can't physically see the lyrics correctly. This one on the other hand, this is not too busy. This looks great. This would definitely work. For me, most of the time I'm doing lower third lyrics over top of video. So I wanna add these black background bars on my text. This makes it easy to see the text when we're on top of the video. So I've got this slide here and we've got the text down below. If I click on the text, I can now come over to shape and I can add a fill. Well, that makes it a ton easier to see, right? But we can take it a step further by manipulating the fill. So let's go to lines only and we're going to go to full width. We can change it to line width, which makes it uh, the width of the, width of the lines, or we can do max line width. Now it's kind of hard to see on here, but you can see there in the corner that when I change it from line width to full width, that it takes the size of the text in account to the size of the black bar. So if we do full width, we can change this padding. Now, anytime this padding is in the negative numbers, we're gonna have a space between our black bars. So let's try like negative 20. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm not, gonna let, I'm not digging the full width. So let's go to, to max width. And I'm not digging the full width. So let's go from full width to max width. Hey, that looks pretty good. You can clearly see the lower third lyrics on the video. Well, I hope you found value in this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Plus turn on the bell for notifications. I regularly post content on Instagram and Facebook at Crazy Amazing Designs. So check that out and hit follow. Thank you for watching this video on building slides in Purpose Center 7 and I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.